Okay, so this is our super incredible, but practical laundry space. And I think you'll find it is the coolest laundry space you have ever seen. And this lady is the one that kind of dreamed all this up. So I'm gonna let her tell you about it. Thank you, Stephen. Well, this is a chance for me to really have some fun in this room. Um, a lot of people are really into ideas that they see in Pinterest, but don't quite know how to make it unfold in a room like this. So I'm here to show you a few of the ideas that I've compiled and just really popped the space out and made it wow. With the light blue walls, I felt like the black and white accents just added a, a lot of drama and also maintain sort of that nostalgic feel that we've been talking about. And the whole exposed storage concept is so popular right now. We use mason jars to create um, some storage for paper clips, glue sticks, scissors, and even a wrapping paper uh, rack. And mom always needs an extra space to do her little things and doesn't necessarily want to be in the kitchen spreading out and that kind of thing. And the laundry room is a chance for her to multitask, work on the laundry and work on some of her projects. And that's exactly what this space is. It's a crafting station, uh, workroom area for mom. But we made it fun. It's with, again, with the black and white, it just really makes this area pop. And now I'm going to show you the ironing board. Well, as you can tell from the front of it, it doesn't look like your traditional um, ironing board storage. This I've created a lost and found center. And um, mom is always finding those trinkets in the wash, so those little surprises from her kids. Uh, so maybe the lost socks go up here, keys, whatever it might be. And I'm gonna open this up and show you what a fantastic way to camouflage the ironing board. Still very practical, but fun too. We're always looking to add a fun element to everything. And now I'm gonna introduce you to Steven and he's gonna talk about some other elements in the laundry room. So uh, I know it's kind of weird for uh, a guy who makes a mess. You know, my kids are already doing their own laundry and my wife, unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, she takes really good care of me. So not everybody uh, has a family where just mom does it. So there's a lot of people involved here. So what we wanted to do was make sure that this was very family friendly. Now one of the other things I'm going to introduce towards the end of this is the way to introduce back a little bit of responsibility for the kids. And what we have here is something kind of approximates driftwood. We're looking at these elements that again are keeping the total coastal theme. We have a wonderful sterling sink here uh, that is from Kohler. And it gives us an opportunity. Again, this was something that came from Ferguson Enterprises. Um, this is something that where I'm going to hang something that cannot be dried. I'm going to hang it up here. It's going to drip right into this space. But you'll notice with the front loading washer and dryer, it gives us the opportunity to have a great workspace. So man, stuff comes up on here. We're folding stuff. We're making a mess. We've got stuff here, towels, everything we need for whether it's pets. You see, we've got a little pet place in here as well. There's all kind of storage opportunities. My favorite thing though, and my wife really kind of helped me uh, envision this, is whoever does the laundry, well, they're gonna go as far as this secret little space we have here, and they're gonna fold the items, they're gonna set them here, and daggone it, the kids are responsible to come and get their own stuff. So we have a unique way that the kids are gonna be able to pick it up, and that's with a two-way area back here. They better pick their stuff up. So, kind of in a nutshell, that is the funnest laundry space you've ever seen in a house. And we think that's all part of the Coastal Virginia living theme.